Thanks for joining us here on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burley. And schools in crisis, many struggling to fill teacher vacancies. The Biden administration now working to help districts across the country fill those jobs by partnering with major online hiring companies like ZipRecruiter. Anna Mordecai is in Washington with what these job search companies are doing to address our nationwide shortage of teachers and support staff. As students head back to class this fall, schools across the country are struggling to staff their classrooms. Our districts are having a harder time not just finding eligible candidates, but really any, any candidates at all. Tennessee Commissioner of Education Penny Schwinn says the Biden administration's new plan will fix that. On Wednesday, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden and administration officials met with state and local leaders and top executives of job search companies like ZipRecruiter and Handshake to announce a new partnership that will help schools fill their vacancies. If we're serious in addressing the teacher shortage issue, we must first address the teacher respect issue. And the White House says the pandemic has made the staffing challenges worse. The Biden administration is encouraging state and school district leaders to use the money in the American Rescue Plan to increase teachers' salaries. If we want educators to be able to do what they do best, we have to give them the pay and the support that they need. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy agrees. We need to pay educators more money. There's no question about that. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Here to talk more about the new action to address the teacher shortage and school staffing shortages overall is Zip Recruiter CEO Ian Siegel. Ian, thank you so much for being with us. Pleasure to be here. Okay, Ian, so explain how this new partnership between the, the White House and the Department of Education and ZipRecruiter will work. Well, the U.S. government effectively put out a call to action to a number of the largest job sites in America, of which we were one. There is a dire shortage of teachers in America. It's not just teachers, it's actually the entire um, set of support staff that make a school work. So that's everything from bus drivers to custodial staff to substitute teachers to um, elective teachers, et cetera, et cetera. So if you look at the number of missing people in the system, there's about 300,000 people needed to help the government fill those open roles. We have put out a site called schooljobsnearme.org where what we've effectively done is consolidated all those jobs into one easy to search place so that anyone who has the skill set can go in one simple location and find all the opportunities that are available. Okay, so so Ian, you know, your your words exactly say there are dire shortages. We certainly wouldn't argue with that when you're saying, you know, maybe 300,000. But, you know, many people say it's not hard to, to pinpoint why, and, and they look at the low salaries that, that are oftentimes associated with these positions. Would you agree that that's maybe part of the reason for the shortage? And how can recruiters maybe make education and this industry more attractive? Well, we just had the meeting at the White House, and this was a much discussed issue. And the truth is that the need for backfill of talent that is missing is not evenly distributed across every state. We're asking teachers to do way too many things. I mean, effectively, they're worrying about kids' um, education. They're worrying about whether or not they get fed. They're worrying about their family situations. And it's very easy to feel like you're dealing with effectively um, an unsolvable number of problems. And so I believe that if we get the right candidates in and we give them the right coaches, that we can help people manage through those first critical one to three years, which is when most of these teachers who are quitting are leaving the workforce, and get them to the other side where they're then teachers for life. All right, last question for you, Ian. And I know right now the focus is just getting people, getting the qualified people into these positions. But is there concern that maybe we'll see some of the, the lower paid rural teachers leave to maybe take some of the higher paying jobs that are in the bigger cities? I mean, is there concern that, you know, some American families obviously will be helped, but at the same time, there, there are American families in those rural areas which may be hurt? I think this is going to be a long term effort. There are states that are succeeding that have seemed to figure this out, and they are prioritizing a number of tactics that look like they can be easily repeated by other states. It's just, do those states have the will and conviction to follow through? Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.